so no place like home um and this is definitely the sense of uh, this energy of you know being happy where you're at uh, maybe needing to tweak those little things so that you can reach your goals as far as making um a happy home uh, this is also where you find yourself and you complete yourself which brings in a sense of peace for you um, this is definitely a time to quiet down be poised definitely and then let's see what else um, treasure island so stay focused on what it is that you're trying to um, acquire just really don't let go because there's something that needs to be fixed as far as feeling comfortable maybe in your own skin or with someone else or in a situation you know this is like when when you reach a, a a state of mind where you're just at peace that's home like that's definitely a sense of uh, need, needing to clear out negativity so that you can have that sense of home or balance or something maybe structure but really um the treasure island is it's telling you stay focused to whatever it is that you're trying to push yourself towards okay um so round and round this is definitely about cycles and um, you know, maybe planning for a future or something different and just really taking time to somehow take some kind of um, meditation um, time for yourself, for self-indulgence is what I feel. So welcome guys. I hope you're doing well. Please like, share and subscribe. Welcome. Um, let's see. Card 50. Now place like home. What does that mean? So you have... The four of pentacles holding on um really like um maybe this is something that you're trying to build maybe building a, a structure um like a good foundation for yourself maybe looking to move homes is what i feel um and then you have let's see here the moon so there's definitely a sense of holding on to fear or maybe holding on to something um, I feel like it's an energy of a little bit of uh, anxiousness wrapped with some fear. Um, is this somebody who is going through a change and, and needs to maybe let go a little bit so that you can get to the right place? Um, with, with the Four of Pentacles, it could be where you're just maybe fearing something and especially with the moon not seeing things clearly or maybe needing to move forward to let go of something that you know has been holding on to you that would be not so um comfortable something maybe negative or uh, something that just puts a lot of pressure on on your energy what is the four of pentacles four of pentacles please what does this mean um no place like home it's like trying to get back there um, um that's what i feel like okay so you got the four let's see the four of pentacles being clarified by the king of wands uh the two of swords the knight of swords and the page i'm sorry the the um, ace of wands and the page of cups so my goodness is this somebody that's holding on to making a decision or is this somebody who's somehow holding on to this idea or this manifestation or this new beginning um there's definitely a sense of needing to pick something with the two of swords it could be something that you feel somewhat um unsure of or maybe fogged in like you really can't see maybe you're trying to um look more towards the future when really you need to focus on the now um if that makes sense it's like this is the energy of somebody who's focused too much on the outcome, not so much as the procedures and the steps that you need to take to get there. Um, but I definitely do feel that a choice needs to be made with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands with the Page of Cups. So is this something that um, you're holding back from and you're not doing it? Maybe out of confusion with the Moon card. What is the Moon card? Um, let's see here. So, ooh, the lovers. Confused about a lover? confused about somebody maybe from your past because i feel with this card i just feel like you want to go back to it it's like you want to revisit it um something that you you might be thinking or contemplating um but it definitely makes you feel like home so maybe this is your person either you or your person that you're feeling um a sense of uh, with the lovers i definitely do feel this is a connection 
for somebody um, that wants to start over and perhaps take some initiative to, to make a choice. Hmm. Let's see here. Um, maybe you have to choose between places of work or, or family or even a loved one. Okay. Let's see. I want to see. What is the lovers? What's the lovers? It brings you a sense of stability, a home. This, this is just home. Um, so the Eight of Cups, you got to walk towards this. You got to take, you, if you're holding back, because the first two cards are that, um, that Four of Pentacles, which is like holding back in fear, holding back in uncertainty, very much thinking, how is it going to happen? So you don't do it. But um, it, it's if you want your shot, it's very much asking you to start over. Listen to that passion, to that drive that's it within you. And make a choice to walk towards this. Is this somebody already walking towards you? Are you walking towards someone? Um, are you choosing love? Are you coming in for your 10th cup? Um, that's definitely what I feel here. So somebody's walking away from something with that 8 of uh, cups. Maybe that fear to make that decision. Okay. And peace. I want to know what this peace. So going through changes. Um, really, I, I feel like you're getting messages to leave. Um, maybe you're learning or, or trying to leave uh, something that is, it could be something very um, painful. Five of, five of Cups, it's a pain. It's something from the past. It's something that you keep dreading and you keep holding on to. You got the Nine of Cups. I'm sorry, the Nine of Wands. The Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands. And let's see, this is the Judgment. So my goodness, look at that. It's time. Someone's really thinking about letting that wall down. Um, here you got the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Swords. So this, I think that whoever this is who's experiencing this is somebody who's very much getting in tune with their inner self, with um, spirituality, with God, having a transformation. This is going through changes that really will allow you to have some sort of peace and serenity. Um, I definitely do feel like it, it's a fresh start and I do feel like for some of you it's a fresh start in a new project or a new endeavor but it, it definitely could be something in love because there's little hearts flying around in there um, so it could be something that you're having like some kind of self-love for yourself and you're starting to leave this stuff because I mean you got some pretty hard cards with the, with the five of cups the nine of wands is just really hurt in the past but the three of swords is maybe you're wanting communication with someone maybe you need to leave some somebody to go towards um some kind of healing environment um there's just a sense of really missing and and being pulled uh towards something because there's a broken heart here there's a sense of loneliness maybe a, a sense of um what is that like um like orphaned you know like that kind of you might have been um, either partners in another lifetime or something like that is what I feel. Uh, but it, it's very much where there's some kind of truth and clarity coming out. Is this the ap apology coming into you or you giving an apology or just going towards forgiveness, you know, going towards forgiveness and letting go of heartaches? What's the three of swords? I wonder what is the three of swords? Three of swords. So the eight of swords being stuck. Um on wanting to return look at that see uh, it, it like um the four of cups and the six of cups uh, it, it's very much like are you not taking that pull are you thinking about it too much rather than taking action um are you daydreaming about this you're stuck you're broken heart you're stuck and you're dra daydreaming about this like you want this return maybe you just don't know how to speak up but the judgment card right here is very much saying it's going to happen it's part of destiny it's, it's very much spirit guiding you to perhaps let the wall down and heal from something so that you can stop worrying about the past or regretting things that didn't happen or maybe did happen um i want to know what is judgment what is the judgment what is the judgment here okay it's this one right here whoops there you go so um, really having a new beginning with the magician. It's really about having this sense of um, knowing that everything is going to be okay. Really working on it. 
maybe coming becoming more spiritual and um you know it's it's a it's transition where sometimes it's not that easy to make but really much working on it um i definitely do feel this king of wands is making a choice to walk towards something that they've been holding on to for a long time that's definitely what it, it's showing today it's it's like somebody who just and it's because they're daydreaming about it so much and and really being stuck meaning with the eight of swords today and the three of swords it's like they're just stuck in agony and heartbreak because they're not taking that step forward to something that really will make them happy and start over um daydreamy i just feel like daydreamy of the past maybe with a person a, a thing a situation maybe just the way you were before you know trying to become peace of mind you have somebody here that is attracted either to your nature or you're attracted to their nature because of their peaceful state i get the sense that maybe you bring out um a, a peaceful state amongst each other you see um it's some kind of a healing so i definitely do feel it's it's uh like um you know maybe healing your twin or you healing so that you can go to your twin whatever that case is what is the poise so this is um like when you make that choice and it just starts happening um so there you go you see the fool starting over again um not really caring what anybody thinks almost a sense of innocence and maybe a little bit of naiveness like you know just not even caring is what that is it, it's very much um uh let's see but having balance within your your inner core is what i feel so there's definitely a sense of maybe starting over this could be you this could be your person maybe it, it's you you know letting go of all the things that you've been wanting to do but you procrastinated on it's like moving towards whatever it is you've been procrastinating and holding back so look at that the ten of cups so getting your wish getting that family that togetherness with somebody um absolutely starting over is what i feel what's the ten of cups what's the ten of cups and then um the ten of pentacles so wow you have a new beginning with the fool a new beginning with the ten of cups a new beginning with the ten of pentacles um definitely and then let's see you got the queen this is the queen of pentacles so something grounding something successful something that is nurturing and growing maybe learning how to do this um you know transitioning and then the other two that came out are the the hierophant and the king of cups so it, it's very much coming together with each other um you know getting that happiness and that new beginning and it, it's really a sense of just happiness with the hierophant right here it's a spiritual connection you got the queen of pentacles and the, the hierophant which is about traveling through spirituality and going up levels but really you have two people here that are maybe connected spiritually so i definitely do feel that this is your twin um as far as you know maybe trying to heal and perhaps just come back to somebody who gives them that poise and that happiness that feeling of of home um definitely peaceful um wanting to leave anything negative um and perhaps maybe they haven't made that choice but it's a sense of knowing where you're going to get your happy okay um definitely so that's actually really beautiful i feel maybe this person wasn't able to show you love before and now they're going to be able to do it um maybe they've found some kind of self-love and poise for themselves or maybe for yourself what's the treasure island so really staying focused and staying on target for what you want so really relaxing taking almost like with the four swords that came out right now it, it's this energy of you know take time for yourself take time to heal don't hurry um there's a sense of maybe needing to um what is that called where you um you cleanse yourself you know cleanse yourself of negativity and really get some rest and then perhaps then move it, it's like very much staying on target but really um taking a day off like breaking from it like rejuvenating is what i get with the four of swords um what else with the four of swords and the treasured island please treasure island and there's hearts on that card as well so 
it definitely could be something that just brings you luck and love or maybe a return of somebody from your past or just someone that you've been separated from so there you go you have um the, the knight of cups this is really giving you some sort of offer some kind of an emotional offer it gives you a sense of um, taking charge of something and then um, you have the let's see the knight the king of wands so passionate um, this definitely is a person who's going through different transformations um, maybe allowing some kind of um, um, I'm sorry, it's the Queen of Wands, Queen and the King of Wands. So it, it's someone, it's almost like both because you got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands with the King of Cups and the Four, um, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. So it's almost like learning how to balance each other, if that makes sense. If one of you was more um, passionate and one was more about money, it's almost like where you have to change and balance each other to create the king and the queen of wands, like going through transformations. Um, and then the three of wands, three of wands, the knight of pentacles, and um, the seven of swords. So it, it's what I feel it's like divine masculine and divine feminine um, leaving some kind of um, worry, some kind of issues, or just allowing themselves to change, which actually is beautiful because then you balance each other out and then, you don't have anything to worry about because you're going down the wrong the right path and there's the two of cups so i definitely do feel like there's a sense of with the seven of swords um really changing some kind of trickery within both of you really um and then there you have the hermit so going down a true path a new path more um like sustainable as far as within yourself and being successful um just a sense of poise confidence peace and that brings you to home so maybe this is you uh transforming yourself so you can get to that place of peace and harmony or maybe it's your twin for some of you twins i feel it's like both of you lining up with each other okay um i want to know what is the end of this story what's the end of this story please what's the end of this story so six of swords you got six of swords twice which is very much um making that choice getting that call inside of you to let go of something difficult um something that probably has left you like hanging on to negativity for a long time but it's really like changing it okay let's see what else please okay so you have the death card a transformation and it could be a transformation of two um, and then you got the Queen of Cups, so this is really feeling emotion and intuition and really getting a pull to perhaps do um, something different or go towards someone who holds your heart or makes you very peaceful, uh, makes you somewhat feel like you're home, okay? Is this your person coming in? So things are going to start being revealed with the High Priestess. It, it's something um perhaps you don't see it coming you don't know that this person's going to change their mind or whatever the case is it's something's going to be exposed for you okay in the near future let's see i want to know what are the words of love for this reading the words of love okay that one what else please? words of love okay so virtue you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. And then purpose, you possess the determination and dedication to con consciously demonstrate love. So beautiful, actual transformation there. Um, let's see, what is the karmic love message? The karmic love message, please. Karmic love message, okay. So, you were born with that equality. So really finding that self-worth and that strength for yourself um, to go towards a, a new direction or a better direction. What are these two souls telling each other? What are they telling each other? Maybe this was a third party situation that might have, um, you know, started like really um, hot and heavy and then it just sort of deflated you know on on the karmic side though 
let's see here um let's see it says life is a great big canvas throw all the paint on it that you can so really changing things for yourself don't be scared to be colorful the hottest love has the coldest ending and it could be something that they started with the karmic partner and it might have been really really hot, um, hard to leave i feel like seductive this seducting kind of um energy with that card and then um never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings and that's nothing what i get with that hard hottest sex you know it could have been something that wasn't what it cracked up to be so start claiming start reclaiming who you truly are really being honest and truthful with yourself is going to bring this person it's going to allow you to either find this person um or either that person will come back to you because the six of cups and the it just seems like somebody's maturing enough to come back peace comes from within don't don't seek it without and then you are on your way to meeting your true love so yeah definitely i do feel that and you are moving into a steady and reliable path see i think both of you are i definitely do feel like that could be two people doing the same thing so wow interesting very interesting i did pick up on that energy like there's two people um trying almost balancing each other out really interesting what is the Kuan Yin message for today please Kuan Yin what is the Kuan Yin message for this reading <clears throat> okay so this one right here um the loving push sacred grandmother will nudge you when you need to take a step confront i'm sorry comfort you when you become uncertain and provide provide the means for you to move towards your destination which of course your divine destiny will feel the divine pushing take a leap As, when you feel the divine pushing take a leap okay and then this one right here so um you are one of the kind your own path will never be exactly the same as anyone else's the type of frequency you hold is as individual as your fingerprints that that uniqueness cannot ever be taken from you co-opted by another or accomplished in any other way relish your uniqueness and share it lovingly freely joyfully with the world awesome that's really beautiful so there you go guys i do hope you like this reading thank you so much for your time have a beautiful day and stay safe and blessed i'll see you tomorrow welcome to this guided meditation prayer for protection against sickness and evil for yourself for your family and for the world if you're guided here it is for a reason as a collective if we do pray and stand together we will banish evil that has been placed on this world. Allow yourself to focus on this light and just draw all your energy into this light. I will turn the music up so you can listen to it and let you hear it for a moment. In this time, just be in a meditative state with healing energy. Think about healing yourself, the world, the sickness that is happening in this world think about that and then i will lower the music and say the prayer thank you so much guys
Beloved Archangel Michael, I call upon you to connect with me and help me at this moment, now and forever. I ask that you and your band of angels unite together to protect the earth and its humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God strips all his fallen angels of their dark powers once and for all, now and forever. May the ones who hold dark powers, the ones that have been able to rule humanity away from the one and only true God, the ones who have been creating animosity, fear, sickness, and blockages to God by distractions on this earth be stripped of their powers and omitted from this earth now and forever. May the truth that God holds be revealed and allow the earth to rule in peace, love, and harmony as God intended. I pray, Archangel Michael, that you surround me with your love, light, peace, and protection. Guide me, heal me, and bless me now and forever. I pray that you vacuum any negative thoughts, fears, phobias, procrastinations, ill health, sorrow and sadness, pain, worries, black magic, evil eye and financial blockages that hold that I hold within me. Cut any evil cords and remove these from me and replace them with white light instead. Convert my negative thoughts into positive thoughts, fears with faith, procrastination into proactiveness, ill health into health, sorrow and sadness into happiness, pain into relief, worries into peace, and financial blockages into abundance. Protect me now and forever. Heal and protect all who are sick in the world now and forever. Protect my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my wife, my husband, my children, and my neighbors now and forever. I thank you, Archangel Michael, and your band of angels for your love and protection and for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.